Welcome. Hey, it's Mr. Winnegig back again. I've been asked to, uh, well, I think it was John, emailed me and said, how do I make the actual hub unit? That's the uh, the bit on the Whirligig that, which is that bit there, which transfers the, the oh sorry, that's it, which transfers the energy from the propeller to the up and down motion. Right, so, some history. Uh, I'll show you one of the, one of the very early world of gigs I made. Uh, this is uh, the fishing bear, uh, as you can see. They're different. Again, I, I I still use this same system here with 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 a lump of wood, and uh, this was all belts and braces, as you can see. It had a lump of wood in it. It it was done with uh, ten mil or M10 th uh, threaded rod. Uh, with a lock push washer and I actually did put skateboard bearings in. I don't know if you can see them in there, skateboard bearings both sides. Yeah so we did two skateboard bearings and then uh, we we put a nut either end to hold the, the rod in, in place with a shake proof, proof washer on it and uh, not shake proof washer they're shake proof nuts sorry and then there was a nut on the end that pushed a bit of wire on there so that was the original way of doing it uh, uh, with bearings and everything but but we went away from that because it's actually quite heavy when you've got uh, I was using thicker wood here as well I don't know if you can see uh, and we this is the one I experimented with because I didn't know where where to sort of what angle to make uh, and as you know we went away and, and eventually we made these in it the top bit in one piece uh, so that's what we did so th this is what we finished up with a lot as you can see a lot lighter version we we went down from the thread down from a, t a, a 10 mil m10 thread to to an 8 which is a lot smaller again with two nuts but but with this version I, I eliminated one of the nuts there was pointless having a nut holding that I could use that same nut Okay, so that's that's what we did there. Uh, hang on, let me just take that off for you. And as I said, these are all just held on. Everything's just held on with two screws. Uh, we undo the screws. There we go. So we take that off. So, so th this was the unit there. As you can see, it literally there was no need to have bearings. I used these these plastic bearings in there, and with the end bit here, I don't know if we can keep that in focus for you. Uh, what we do, we we actually with the thread, the threaded thing, I filed a flat bit. On there, not too much, just a little bit of a flat bit, so I could then put a center, a center spot in there with a punch, so that when I drilled it with a, I think it was a two millimeter drill, uh, I could put the wire, wire through the hole. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, we can put the wire through the hole, and then we just did the nut up to the wire, held it nice and tight, uh, then then placed the thing, in, placed it through there. So. Uh, uh, that is it, and as you can see, it's so it, it's so light and easy to use for the uh, for the whirly gigs. There's no way there where with the other one, with the, it, it was just and anyway. So we used uh, these 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 plastic bearings, and I suppose I, I've got about a hundred of these left, and as I'm not uh, there, you go. That's what they look like. So if you can find find anything but a lot of people have had great problems in getting these so look I've, I've got a hundred of them left and I thought well they're only going to finish up in the bin aren't they so what I've decided to do is if anybody wants any if you go on my it's not my but it's my wife's uh, eBay account we don't have to go just go on eBay and if 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 you type in what shall we call them we call them whirly gig plastic collar 
bearings because they're not a bearing okay they're, there's no they're, they're just a piece of plastic they're not a bearing so we call them whirly gig plastic collars yeah whirly gig plastic collars so if you go on ebay and, and, and type in whirly gig plastic collars that's what i'll put them under i haven't done it yet i'll be doing that later on today whirly gig plastic collars and what we do we do them in a a pack of 10 yeah because you, you know you might as well have 10 it's the same price and uh and we're going to charge uh, two pounds for ten plus postage. Uh, postage is about one pound, about one fifty postage and packaging. And then what we do is we will uh, send them to you in a nice little envelope like that, in there, and you'll get them. Okay. So if you go to uh, if you type in on eBay, wordy gig plastic collars. Okay, and I'll do a photograph of them so you know what you're getting. These are the ones I used. I've had no problems with them. I've only got to 100, so I've got 10 sets. So if anybody wants them, just uh, just email me. Uh, not email. Go on to eBay. It's far easier. Uh, I did originally do it with eBay. People sent me. Uh, it got ever so confusing. So it's far better to use eBay. Then it's you. You got a guarantee. I've got a guarantee, and everyone's got a guarantee. So it works better. So I thought. So that. Comes me. Then somebody else came on last night. I'm, I'm thinking, how can I sell these? And said, uh, hubs. How do you make the hubs? And as you know, I, I make, I make the hubs. I made them all myself. And uh, these these hubs here, and I I cut them out. And somebody said, oh yeah, we got to get a band. So can we get hold of hubs? So why not? If I if I'm gonna sell bearings, I might as well hubs, mightn't I? So look, I haven't got many hubs. Look. Uh, Oh, I ain't got many. I'm not sure how many of those there. Look, uh, how, how many is there there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22. 22 hubs. So, there you go. So, we've got uh, hubs. But, you know, they are quite easy to cut out if, if you want to cut them out yourself. Now, they are, they are, let's get it in focus, they are homemade. You, uh, you know, and as you can see, I, I, they could possibly just do with a little bit of finishing. Uh, and what I'll do is, I'll do, how many can we get in the envelope? Let's have a look. We've got the envelopes here. If we can get, if we can get two in the envelope. There we go. Two in the envelope. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they, they fit in there. So, again, we're charged... 158 so we charge three pounds for the hubs one pound fifty the postage okay so i shall list them under whirly gig homemade hubs yeah whirly gig homemade hubs if so if you go on ebay type in whirly gig homemade hubs hopefully you come across it if you don't come across it get back to me and i can give you the reference number on both the hubs and the bearings if, if if you want them if you don't want them don't, don't worry it's no uh you know, they, they've only just sat in my box for absolutely ages uh not doing nothing as i've not made a whirly gig now for two years since since we moved house which was a shame but there, there you go anyway i hope that's been of some help to you if it hasn't it hasn't if it has it has good let's put this back together if uh, there's any more information yeah, any ideas what you want uh, I've been uh, somebody wants to know if I can do a chicken <laughs> yeah yeah a chicken yeah a whirly gig a whirly gig with a chicken obviously they keep chickens and they wanted a whirly gig chicken so I'm gonna have a go on making a whirly gig chicken so rather than go back as I used to and, and make them for business what I'm gonna do is I, if somebody wants well i'll just do a one-off and just as a hobby uh then there's no chase I, I, i'll just do it as a hobby and then i'll show you show you on youtube how i now yeah, that's all back together now how i make it and what i do so but anyway nice to speak to you all again uh hope you've enjoyed the little video be good be happy and most of all be kind to the doggy woggies the animals okay be good be happy bye cheers well thank you very much for watching the uh, video 
If you'd like to support my channel, you can do so by uh, obviously sharing and liking and subscribing to the channel. But even more, I'd appreciate it more if you'd love to buy me a cup of tea so I can dunk my biscuits into. It would be greatly appreciated. Follow the link in the description. Thank you.